everyone, Mitchell here from Hockey Winnipeg Referee Development, the Hockey Referee Resource. And in this third video about positioning in the two official system, we're going to talk about pursuit of play and how to leave your end zone as the play moves up the ice. So when we're talking about pursuing the play, we're going to talk about how you move from your end zone positioning to the neutral zone, to the far end zone. And this first example, let's imagine that the puck is in your end zone and you are at home base because the puck is on your side of the ice. Now the puck gets moved back up the ice so it comes out of the zone like that. And at this point, both officials are going to move up the ice. Now the official who is at the blue line has to work at getting back to the other blue line so that they can be in position to potentially make a call at that blue line. The official who is in the end zone is going to move back towards the blue line that is no longer covered by their partner in case the puck turns around and comes back towards the end zone that it was just in. In this case, the puck bounces back into the end zone it just came out of, so both officials simply move back into the proper piston positioning for the end zone position and back to the blue line for the official who ends up back at that blue line, the back official. Now let's imagine that the puck now goes up the ice. This time the puck stalls a little bit further up and you can now see that there's players battling for the puck in the neutral zone. Now in this situation it's important to understand three points about this. The first is that the officials are diagonal to each other. One is not hiding far down in one end zone with the other one just at the blue line. They've both come to a good diagonal 45 degree angle to each other at their own blue lines. So they're both inside their blue lines ready to make a call depending on which way that puck goes. You'll also notice that in this circumstance, the officials are not standing inside of the neutral zone. Instead, they've taken up positions at each of their blue lines. You're never going to stop in the neutral zone. Your goal is always to be moving towards your end zone position or towards your line as the play is in the neutral zone. If you're stopped, you're set up just inside of your blue line, ready to make a call if the play comes to your blue line. It's also important to note there's a lot going on. You can't just focus on what's going on in the neutral zone. You want to have your head on a swivel. So lots of awareness going on in this situation as well, looking around, seeing what other players are doing that maybe you're not around the puck. At this point, the puck now goes into that next end zone, like so, and the officials are able to take up end zone positioning just like they were at the other end zone, as well as the other back official is now in a blue line position in order to be at a good place to make a call at that blue line if the puck ends up coming back to it. So, pursuing the play has multiple components to it, moving from your end zone position, exiting to cover a blue line, and then moving up the ice to take the other blue line while the other official moves from their first blue line to the other blue line and then taking up end zone position. Now, let's see what that looks like in real life. So in this first video, we're gonna look at how to leave the end zone when you have not established end zone positioning. In this video, you're going to see that the official curls down into the zone and then he reads the play as it's leaving the ice and concludes he doesn't have to get into half piston. He follows the play up the ice because he sees his partners leaving his blue line and he makes sure that that blue line is covered in case the play turns around. Here it is again. Comes into the zone, does not establish end zone positioning because the play is leaving the zone, sees his partner leaving his blue line, and he comes up to cover that blue line in case there's a quick turnover. In this second example, you have established yourself in the end zone. So in this example, you can see that the play is on the far side of the ice and the official is at half piston, play comes into the slot, official maintains half piston, there's a turnover and the official reads the play to be leaving the zone, so he goes back to the blue line to cover for his partner. Here it is again, end zone positioning, turnover, back to the blue line, sees partner leaving line, gets back to the line to cover the line in case the puck comes back into the zone. So once the puck's established in the neutral zone, we have to understand what it is our responsibilities are. And there's three parts. First, you're always diagonal to each other. Second, both officials are at the blue lines. And third, you have your head on a swivel to see as much as possible. 
So when we look at this picture, you can see the play is stuck in the neutral zone and both officials are diagonal to each other and they're also both inside their blue lines ready to make a call if necessary. So in this video, the play is moving up the ice, it does not get stuck and the officials are diagonal to each other, always ready to make a call at the blue line. Here it is again, following the play up the ice, always diagonal, always ready to make a call at those blue lines if necessary.